On the morning of Sunday, June 19th, my niece Nikki and I drove to Paleokori on the southeastern shore of Milos for a day-long cruise with Polko Sailing. Originally, I had another company booked for our day cruise, but after reading all of the reviews online, Polko Sailing sounded outstanding. So it's something we definitely wanted to go with, and we are so glad that we did, because this turned out to be the very best day of our entire trip. Our Captain Angelo drove the small boat to the shore to pick us and some other guests up to take us out to the catamaran. We were the first ones to arrive on the catamaran, along with Felipe and Ubia, a very nice couple from Brazil who we really enjoyed getting to know and had a great time talking to. We stepped aboard the catamaran and met Mauro, the awesome first mate of the ship, while Captain Angelo went back to shore to pick up more guests. The name of our catamaran was Danny, and after riding on her for 30 minutes or so, we made our first stop along the south coast of Milos. Another couple that we were glad to get to know and really enjoyed talking to was Sam and Cassie from Sydney, Australia. The cruise originally was supposed to sail out of Adamas on the northern side of the island and basically sail all the way around Milos. But because of the winds, we had to start and end the cruise on the south side. It was still very windy, but not nearly as bad as it would have been had we stuck with the original plan. I'm so glad that Polko Sailing made this adjustment. Our next stop was Cleftico. This is one of the most famous places on Milos, but it's only accessible by boat. Captain Angelo gave us the rundown of what we would see and do while we were here, and then we would enjoy the next several hours at this beautiful location.
After snorkeling for a little while, I got back on the Danny and decided I would brave the winds and fly my drone. The next thing we did was one of the highlights of our entire trip. Captain Angelo took Nikki and myself, along with Felipe, Ubia, Sam, and Cassie, through the famous caves of Cleft Tico. Being in this small group was great to get to really know everyone, and Captain Angelo's personality really shined. We couldn't have asked for a better time with a better captain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. It's an exam. Because I have... 
Captain Angelo had a little trick up his sleeve, and Nikki and I were the first to volunteer to do it. Next was the Dragon Cave. Ooh. It smells like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? Our next stop was for rock jumping. Next was Nikki's turn. Don't think, jump. The Blue Cave was our next stop. As we headed back to the Danny, Captain Angelo let Nikki take control of the boat. Exploring the caves with this amazing group of people was definitely one of the highlights of our entire trip to Europe. I thought it was so cool that four continents, North America, South America, Australia, and of course Europe, were represented by only seven people on this little boat. <laughs> 
when we got back on the Danny, our amazing first mate Maro had an even more amazing lunch prepared for us. Unbelievably beautiful. Our last stop was just off of Sagrado Beach. As we left Sagrado Beach to head back to Paleocori, Captain Angelo put Nikki behind the wheel and turned over control of the Danny to her. Nikki followed Morrow's instructions to get us out of the bay. Morrow was fabulous and just as friendly as can be from the time we stepped aboard the ship until we left. She was extremely personable and all of the food she made was delicious. Captain Angelo and Morrow made this trip truly amazing and something we will never forget. But now it was time to say goodbye to our new friends. Can I bite the oil? That's your light off. Captain Angelo took us back to shore as our day with Polko sailing on the Danny was now complete. Absolutely. Well deserved.
We drove back to our Airbnb to take a shower before heading out to dinner for our last night in Milos. This turned out to be our favorite day of our nearly three week long trip to Europe. Maybe it was all of the beautiful scenery, or maybe it was just being able to relax all day without rushing around, but more than likely it was all of the people that we met that made this day truly remarkable and something we'll never forget for the rest of our lives. 